Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. I'm super excited about the episode today because it's morning time and we're going to have wine for breakfast, right? <laughs> Earliest I've ever had wine before. But in all, in all seriousness, uh, I have my best friend in the world right here. Um, just to intro, I'll give a short introduction and we'll talk about the wine today. Uh, Dr. Matt Westheimer, he's he, he runs probably the busiest chiropractic clinic in Southeast Asia. Uh, he runs his website for personal development for uh, young aspiring entrepreneurs, young professionals called Elite Blueprint, and also runs the Ultimate Achievement podcast, which I was lucky enough to be on. So I want to introduce uh, Dr. Matt Westheimer. I'm going to just call him Matt, or our nickname for him is Judge. And maybe you can share <laughs> the audience where that comes from. Thanks for being on today. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, it was really funny. The, the nickname of Judge came about back when we were in chiropractic school, and we would spend a lot of time together, and there was, there was one incident where Matt wanted to start to eat healthier and exercise, which is something that I, I was doing a lot of, and he told me we were, we were in the kitchen of his apartment one day, and he was asking me, you know, I want to start eating better, so can you please, like anytime you see me eating something unhealthy or drinking something unhealthy, don't let me eat it. Like take it out of my hand, slap it out of my hand, just whatever you need to do to not let me eat this stuff, I'm, I'm okay with that. And I said, you know, I, I appreciate that and I want to help you and support you, but I don't want to force anything on you. If it's something that, that you want, I'll support you with it, but I don't want you to get to a point where you don't want to hang out with me just because, you know, uh, I was, you felt like I was judging you all the time. And he's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. I won't feel like you're judging me. Just whatever you have to do, I'm giving you permission. So I said, are you sure? Because I take this very seriously. And, uh, and then we were out one night at the movies and he went over to go, uh, walk over to the stand to get uh, a soda and some popcorn. And I said, no, Matt, you don't need soda. Just get some water. Let's go see the movie. And then he started to argue with me. So I grabbed him by the shoulders <laughs> and I pulled him, uh, physically pulled him away from the concession and pushed him towards the theater. And he just spun around and said, stop judging me. And then ever since then, now he calls me judge. And now everybody else calls me judge too. So that's nice. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. I want to get, we'll jump right into it. I want to ask you, because I don't know this, you never, you really didn't even drink at all in chiropractic college, not even for a while when we were living in Singapore together. So what started moving you towards enjoying wine and getting into wine more? Well, I mean, it, it was a shame because, you know, we've been friends for so long. And then we did that, that whole backpacking trip for 30 days through Europe and went to some of the most beautiful areas for wine. We were through Italy, we were in Slovenia, and just some really, uh, even France yeah. we were, and Spain, we were in some incredible areas for, for wine. And uh, I didn't drink anything. Like I wouldn't even take a glass because I just, it didn't interest me. Um, it, I didn't enjoy the taste of it or anything. And then I, I don't really know what happened. I don't remember when it clicked for me. Yeah. Um, I remember, I know that you weren't setting this up, but this is the truth. It's all because of you that I got into wine. <laughs> And uh, we were in we were in Singapore. And I don't remember when it clicked for me, but I just remember where I just started enjoying it. And it wasn't even so much the taste of wine that I enjoyed so much in the beginning. It was more the experience mm -hmm. and the and the meaning and the story behind wine. And then the more that I drank it, that I started to appreciate the taste and the different the different scents and smells and, and flavors much more as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we're gonna get. I chose. Today, this wine. I'll just show you. I'll show you first what it is. Uh, the Ridge Litton Springs from 2011. Uh, one of their famous, famous Zinfandels. 82% Zinfandel, 16% Petite Syrah, 2% Carignan. Uh, I've had the Three Valleys Zinfandel. I've had the Geyserville. I have not had the Litton Springs, which is supposed to be the best. So we're going to see how this goes. But the reason I had this first is. Uh, your preconceptions about Zinfandel, as, as recent as a month ago, <laughs> what was your preconceptions of Zinfandel? <laughs> I had uh, a family member years ago that loved to drink wine, but they only drank the white the and pink Zinfandel from the box, where you just you put this wine in this bag, which fits into this box, and there's like this spigot at the bottom, and you put it on the shelf in the refrigerator, and you just pour a glass out straight from the box. So that, that was my pre, anytime someone brought up Zinfandel, I got like, 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 I just, 
I just got, got kind of creeped out by the idea of drinking that. Well, it, it, that was actually an accident. That it turned the uh, Zinfandel was supposed to be red, and it turned pink, and then they decided to sell it just to get some money, and it turned out to be a big deal. So, oh wow! Um, my plan for the show was for you to have your first real Zinfandel, but then you had to spoil it and get a Zinfandel before I came. Down. Yeah, well, Whereas, you know, my, well, my idea behind doing that was I was going to be on your show. I know how much you enjoy wine, and I'm like, if I'm, we're going to try. A Zinfandel, I got to at least have some awareness about what I'm going to be drinking. But fortunately, I drank a uh, a bottle that isn't isn't rated as high as this one. So hopefully, this will elevate my okay. Zinfandel experience. We are here in South Florida, by the way, near Miami, for one of our best friends' weddings, and it was great last night. So let's get on this. Um, the 2011 Lytton, Lytton Springs, 93 points, Antonio Galloni. So it's a really really high score. Uh, I'm super excited to try this wine. I just uh, started getting into Ridge recently. The legendary winemaker Paul Draper uh, makes some really good stuff. And we are going to take a look at this. And I got to tell you, when I, when I picked up this bottle, um, when I went to, to Total Wine to pick up this bottle, it was, the store manager was helping me and he was so excited that there, there was someone there that was excited about wine. And the, the moment that I told him about this bottle that I wanted to get it, he um, he was so excited. He knew exactly what I was talking about, and couldn't wait to show me the the selection there. So well, let's let's take a look at it. Um, you, what do you think about the color? Always beautiful color with a Zinfandel. Super dark. Reminds me of Australian Shiraz when you look at the color. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Well, let's uh, let's give it a sniffy sniff. Pick it. Uh, see what we get on the nose. Sorry. Uh, Mm. Smells so, great. What do you think? What do you think? Shireen, you gotta smell this. <laughs> this is really good. I'll pass this on to you. I'm, I'm getting a lot of fruit. Like the first thing that I that I thought of when I first smelled it, like yeah. when we opened it up, was that it was like a fruit roll up, yeah. just like really fruity. What else? See a lot. There's a lot of fruit. I'm getting blackberries. A lot of blackberries, raspberry for me. Um, a little bit of a little bit of cherry. I get a hundred percent fruit roll up. You know I love fruit snacks. Yeah. So I get, <laughs> you smell the alcohol? You think it's well integrated? You smell an alcohol or not really? Um, you know I don't know. I it's it's funny when when I first started uh, tasting wine, I told this uh, this guy that ran this wine shop that I wanted to learn more about wine and the terminology, and he was like, "It's on, and it's, it's not really necessary. You drink what you like." Yeah. And so um, I wouldn't even know how to pick up a high alcohol content compared to a low alcohol content. Uh, all I know is that it smells really good. Shereen, did you like it? I love the smell. Yeah, the, it's very well the smell. I mean, for uh, so just for. Yeah, um, how do you pick that? How do you know if it's high alcohol content? Be, uh, when you in California wines a lot, when they go, this is fourteen point four percent alcohol. When you get real high alcohol wines over fifteen, sometimes sixteen percent, if it's not integrated well, it smells like hard liquor to me. That's what oh, that's okay. all I smell like. This integrated super well. I don't. Do you pick up any vanilla, any oak, at all? I'm getting a bit of oak. Just, I don't smell any vanilla just, though. Just a little bit though. Just a little bit of cedar for me. This um this bad boy is a field blend, I believe. What I mean by that is the grape. They don't blend the wine after uh, they make it. It's all the grape. Those are the that's the percentage of grapes in this vineyard because it's a single vineyard wine. Mm. So let's give this a, let's give this a little bit of a taste. alcohol in my throat. So what do you think of that? That's okay. We have uh, we have your family coming in from grocery shopping, which is fine. <laughs> so what do you think of that? It's really nice. It's got a it's, it's got a really big flavor, but at the same time, very smooth. Oh my gosh, it's incredibly smooth. Yeah, it's like velvet. I'm uh, feeling it like back a little bit back in the back of my it, throat too. It, yeah, um, the petite Syrah is the most tannic, one of the most tannic red grapes. Ah, it's okay. One of the most tannic red grapes, so it gives a, a little bit of a backbone. Um, I think the fruit is awesome, but it doesn't explode in your mouth and disappear. It's got a nice long finish, right? Yeah. You want to taste this, Shereen? Yeah, really good. You want to taste this? It's super, super. Anything else that you pick up on it? Um, try one more time. I'm still, I'm still very new at this, so... What do you think, Shereen? Definitely tastes like um, an American wine. Yeah. But the food is really beautiful. And 
the wood taste makes it smell taste like it's aged and ready to drink. Well, yeah, it's it's. I think it's ready to drink. The um, what the beautiful thing I think about this personally is, this sounds cliche, but it's, there's dark fruit. What I mean by dark fruit, there's a grapey taste to it, yeah. right? You just taste a grapey taste to it, like Concord grape jam a little bit. The body is fantastic. I'm not getting any of that. It very, very well possibly could be there. This is a, <laughs> this is a, this is an awesome one for your palate. What do you? Um, this is going to go well with a lot of heavy meats. It's going to go well with a lot of things. It's just a really, really good wine. What do you think? What do you think about this wine? Well, you know, it's funny. Um, this definitely does remind me of an Australian Shiraz. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a huge fan of Australian Shirazes, but there's something about this that I really, really like. Ridge is awesome. I mean, this Litton Springs 33, I think you got it for $33, right? At yeah, line. yep. Um, fantastic value for the money. For me, uh, my personal palate, even though scores, we talk about scores or moving target, they don't matter that much, but I think 92, 93 points is about right. I think it's a really, really good wine. Yeah, right yeah, I would, def I would definitely agree. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. Before we go, I wanna share with uh, the audience what your projects are, where can they find you? Um, what kind of stuff are you up to? Um, I'm still I'm still a practicing chiropractor, and so incredibly passionate about that. But I've also had an extreme passion and desire to help people live extraordinary lives uh, in all aspects of their lives. So some of the things that I'm up to now is I have my website eliteblueprint.com, which is really about helping people design extraordinary lives in all aspects of their life. Um, I have my my podcast, which you can find on iTunes or Stitcher. It's just Ultimate Achievement Show. Uh, or you can just look up my name, Matt Westheimer, and the, the podcast will show up. I'm on Instagram at Dr. Matt Westheimer, as well as Facebook, my, my professional page, which I post all my stuff on, is Dr. Matt Westheimer as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put some links on. Maybe not all the links, but we'll put some of them on the show. <laughs> okay, no, thanks for being on the show. We had a lot of fun. Sorry if there was a lot of noise. We're getting prepared to have a big brunch, so I don't, I don't think it picked up. The mic picked up too many noises. I think it'll be all good to go. Thanks. Either way, it adds some realness to, yeah. the, uh, to the thing as well. So thanks for being on the show. Cheers. It was good. Thanks Cheers. for having me. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, share it with your friends. Please subscribe to our channel, Exotic Wine Travel, and I'll see you at the next episode.